Emerson Umnangagwa, the president, has committed to fostering an environment that encourages young people in Zimbabwe to create within their own nation. President Umnangagwa brought up the fact that many developed countries rely on immigration from underdeveloped countries to drive their economy. Benefiting from the talents and skills of brilliant individuals, during the National Research, Science, Technology, and Innovation Conference in Harare, he agreed that Zimbabweans have achieved success overseas in a variety of disciplines. But their accomplishments frequently reflect their residences rather than their nation of birth. I believe you are all aware of the fact that the majority of the minds in the developed or first world nations are not citizens. These nations search the world, particularly in developing nations, for intelligent boys and girls, then bring them to their own institutions. The speaker claimed, We have some Zimbabweans working at higher levels in the United States, the United Kingdom, and Europe, providing goods and services of the best caliber. Regrettably, the credit belongs to those nations and not to the place where the lady or boy was born. President Umingagwa underscored the government's resolve to create innovation hubs at state colleges, giving gifted young people the tools and financing they need to dream, innovate, and advance the country. These innovation hubs would act as venues for converting concepts into realizable initiatives or goods, promoting development and economic expansion in Zimbabwe. Innovation hubs should be built at every state university, and we as a government will provide funding so that our gifted children can pursue their dreams. Some dreams may come true as a project, a good, or a service. Some, meanwhile, would only ever be dreams, he added. President Umingagwa emphasized the necessity for legal knowledge to preserve the products of research and innovation in order to defend the intellectual property created in the nation. Zimbabwe can promote and protect its inhabitants' ingenuity and ideas by making sure the proper legal structures are in place. Furthermore, speaking at the conference, Vice President Constantino Chiwenga argued for the expansion of Education 5. Zero to the primary and secondary levels. In order to create a curriculum that is consistent with President Umningagwa's vision, he underlined the significance of early identification and nurturing of future scientists. Vice President Chiwenga also urged research institutions to band together to promote the nation's economic transition. Zimbabwe's administration has made a commitment to encouraging innovation as a result of President Umningagwa's understanding of the enormous potential the youth have to offer. Zimbabwe aspires to foster an environment where young innovators may flourish and advance the country by providing the appropriate resources, intellectual property protection, and an early childhood education system that fosters scientific talent.